All right, so this is multi-digit multiplication. So if we take a problem like 27 times 13, we start always in the bottom right-hand corner, and we progress through from right to left as if that one wasn't even there. So we'll start with 3 times 7, and the answer is 21. The ones stay with the ones. The tens, which is the 2 and 21, travel to the two tens column. Uh, 3 times 2, and then we add 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So we are finished with the 3. Now we need to work with the 1. But since the 1 lives in the tens column, that means nothing can go in the 1's place. And so we need this guy right here, which I call a spacer. Four things we need to do before we do the 1. We need a spacer. We need a line here. We need the plus symbol, and we need to cross out old carries. Done our four things. Spacer, line, plus old carries. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. And now we add. Notice my columns are nice and neat. The 1's column, 10's column, and 100's column. There's, there's no, it's clearly defined as to what's in what column. So now we add. 1, 8 plus 7 is 5 carry the one and we get a three. Let's do another one. Okay. And let's go 17 times 12. We start in the bottom right hand corner ignoring this one here. We go two times seven is four. The four in 14 is in the ones column. The one wants to hang out with other tens so it goes to the tens column. Two times one plus one is three. Now, I told you there's four things we need to do. Spacer, plus sign, line, and cross out old carries. So that's spacer, line, add symbol, and cross out old carries. Now we do the one. We go right to left, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1, and then we add 4, 3 plus 7 is 10, 2, 4. Now let's do one a little bit larger. Let's go 3, 0, 2 times 114. All right, so we start in the bottom right-hand corner, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 3 is 12. Spacer. All right, now, so we're not going to do the uh, line or the addition symbol or the, well, we would cross out all carries if we have them, but we've got an additional line here, so we're going to do that. We're not going to do any of that other stuff. So 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. Basically, I'm just picking the next number in sequence and multiplying it 1 times uh, all of the numbers from right to left and recording the answers here. Now, since we're in the hundreds spot, I need two spacers to get us out to the hundreds spot. One times two is two. One times zero is zero. One times three is three. Now I'm ready to do addition and line. Eight, two, four, four, three. All right. This is the additional step. Every time you drop down, you ask yourself, all right, what place value am I in? I'm using the hundreds place. So my first answer has to go in the hundreds place, which means I need two spacers. So that's multi-digit multiplication in the traditional method.